I think I'm in. Just adjust that mic, make sure it's centered. All good. Hope you appreciate the mic noises. Isn't that what, like, people who, um, uh, do, like, vocal training or that kind of stuff, they'll always start off, they'll make these ridiculous noises. They're like, <laughs> they make, like, really, like, stretch those vocal muscles. And then, and then, and then they'll sing something great, but it's like, it's like ahead of time that they're, they're just going like, ooh, ooh, ooh. There's <laughs> crazy noises. Uh, see, I, my only crazy noise is that I just count down when it hits 8.30, so three, two, one. Hello everybody, welcome to the stream, it is the b and stream today on this fine 31st of July 2023. I hope you're having a wonderful week, and will have a wonderful week ahead of you. Uh, it's a full moon tonight, it's, is it, or is it tomorrow? It's pretty close, it's pretty darn close. Um, but we're at the end of July. I know, right? The year goes by quick, already. That, no that another 31 day month is gone. In an instant, unless you're watching the VOD, in which case it's already gone. Sorry guys. Um, <laughs> But yeah, no, my week's been pretty, uh, pretty interesting, um, pretty relaxed, but I watched a lot of motorsport because we had the, uh, the supercars and all the other stuff going on at Sydney Motorsport this weekend, so, uh, if you guys missed out, don't worry, I didn't make it either, but, you know what, I will make it to, uh, the game. Oh, my ears, oh. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so, uh, this is uh, the second, for reference, this is the second stream of The Emperor's New Groove, so if you see Finale, don't worry, you only missed half the game. And if you only saw last week, then you have seen everything so far. It's gonna be a two-part, a, a two-stream game. Nothing too, too intense, nothing too uh, absurd, but we're going through it, we're 100%ing, getting, which means just getting all the coins, you know, nothing really weird. Uh, it's interesting now playing the game in hindsight because I was like, oh boy, I hope I don't get copyright claimed on YouTube for uh, including Disney full motion video clips and that that was and my internet died. Sick. Sick. It always happens. Thanks, Telstra. It's not, I always say thanks, Telstra, even when I'm not on Telstra. I think I'm full dead. Drop frames. There's no internet. It was, it was primed and it was... It's not ready. Ah, oh, darn. That's okay. Um, yeah, this song also got claimed. So, uh, if you're on YouTube, it's reversed for a reason. Just, just for note. Just for note. Um, I believe that's a, just an instrumental version taken straight from the film. Like, it's not redone in any way. Um, I didn't quite realize that. I just thought, oh, it's a fun little tune. There is no internet. This is, this is now going to be a second stream the moment this comes back. Cool. 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 Uh, but yeah, in the last stream, uh, pretty much the entire first half of the game. So just just a small recap. We started in the village, four levels of tutorials, including killing a kid on a llama bike like three times? Was it three or two? I think the third time actually might have been in the jungle. We went to the jungle, it was nighttime, ran for some panthers, then was on a river for a bit, and then it was daytime in the jungle. And then we went to a mountain that didn't happen in the film. And now we're in the city. We get, we get this cutscene from the film. Uh, I need to describe the cutscenes. This is the, the map scene where they're running and, and they're leaving behind a trail for some reason. And then, uh, yeah, at the end they get lightning struck and, uh, well, he's and Kronk get lightning struck and don't make it to the end. Except the scene ends right when they get to the, uh, the palace and not exactly any, any frame afterwards. Uh, Unfortunately for us playing the game, there's a lot of game to still go before we even get to the palace. I want to. I want to have that sound effect on on record on hold. Uh, I have flat out like no internet right now, do I? Usually you see um, Discord. Oh, sorry, Discord. Usually you see the Twitch chat come back on, but no, no. How convenient. The internet died exactly at 8.30. Cool. Do I have a... No, no, we're back up. We're back up. Hello, everybody on Twitch. I'm sorry, the internet died. You missed the copyright claimed cutscene. 
What I find weird is that there's people who have the movie clips on YouTube. This was not like, oh, you know, the monetization got hit. This was like, also, by the way, the intro to this level takes forever. It's like a minute long. It's weird. You can skip it, of course, but like, I want to get an overview of the level, and instead it's like, oh, this is basically everything. Um, but yeah, this wasn't just like a, oh, your video is not monetized. That was like a, you can't play it in these countries, and it was every country. Actually, YouTube is nice. They let you know that it's every country. <laughs> they at least say that, so good on you, YouTube. But also, come on, really? Like, I know technically it is from the film, and I don't really want to, like... Again, YouTube has a terrible system where when someone claims a video, there's no button that say this is wrongly attributed. The only button you can press is I own the work, which is not true. Therefore, I cannot reasonably counterclaim. Well, here we are back in the city at last. I thought we'd never get here. Thanks, not, uh, not John Goodman. Yeah, Yzma's guards will be looking for the two of us together. We should probably split up. Nobody suspects a lone lava. Be careful. I'm sure Yzma has prepared some nasty surprises for us. Relax, Bumpkin. I know these city streets like the back of my hand. But Cusco, you're a llama. You don't have any hands. Always with the negative vibes, huh, Pacha? I'll meet you inside the palace. Don't get lost. Don't worry about me. I'll try and look sophisticated so I can blend in better. Sophisticated? You? Like you could pull that up. I didn't want to say anything during that because that sequence is incredible. It is at this point in the game, I know I, I mentioned... Uh, you can't jump up there, but don't worry. Um, I mentioned that, uh... Excuse like, this game me, gets bizarre. It gets bizarre Forgive right at the last eyes. world in particular, but just like... I'm looking for my pet bunny. Can you help me? Shouldn't you be facing me when you talk to me? Oh, sorry. I'm staying. Making fun of the elderly. This game is for me. Ooh. He tried. He tried. Lucky for you, finding lost bunnies is my specialty. Now, where are we gonna find a bunny in the city market? My bunny loves carrots, you know. Why are you still talking to me? Can't you see I've lost all interest in you? Oh, well, if you feel like changing your mind, I'll wait here for you. Don't bother holding your breath, old man. I've got better things to do. Okay. Um, but yeah, uh, the city is filled with more, I would say puzzles, but there's probably a, a plentiful number of puzzles leading up to this point in the game. But uh, what you do have is uh, a lot of these, like, um more narrow er areas that involve enemies and not necessarily well, that's, that's a platform. I don't know. I don't know how to classify this, but these levels start to get longer and involve more like wider challenges. So uh, here's a bunny. We gotta walk him back with this pot. This is the only time in the game where, you know, having some some carrots will lead a bunny. This is just one where it's like, you know, I I get it. It's a little slow and cumbersome and there's not really anything in the way, but you know what, sure. It's definitely happened in the movie, though. Uh... Hey! You found him! Oh, I, I missed you, Ooh, Fluffy! Getting there. Here's that red idol I promised you. There we go. Uh, I don't know, I don't think you need this idol to get into the very, very next door, but you definitely need every idol eventually. Keep that in mind, uh, we shall note the one hilarious Red Idol part of the game. It, 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 just keep it in mind, keep it in mind. Uh, but yeah, so we can go into the next room and continue on the level. It's mostly just pretty ordinary stuff, but uh, I, I say after, it's like, ah yeah, we start getting more puzzles, but... Now this jump, this jump in particular is just like... Oh. Bizarrely far. Like I got that one first try, but like trust me, that jump is weirdly far. Oh yeah, I'm jump, jump, jump. Um, yeah, I I feel like in hindsight, like after like sitting back and editing this game, I sort of 
do like the pacing. Like, I feel like it doesn't sit on any mechanic for too long. It's always for just, just a good amount. Um, definitely some of the earlier sequences are kind of annoying, especially for collecting all these coins. Like, in the end, I don't think there's going to be any Checkpoint. part of the game that's going to be as annoying as what we've already experienced. Oh, Wampy is already here, you know? It's my Wampy. I should... Oh. I should really um, put one of these jams on Whee! my intermission music. Oh yeah, I'm jump, jumpy, jumpy down. This one's a good jam, but we keep jumping between all these different uh, different tunes. Up over here, and there we go. Red Idol oh, number yeah. two. That's right. I don't think you can ever hold three. I don't think there's ever a moment where there's three. else in this room it's just yeah but look at that you needed one of them this will throw off anyone who didn't get both uh but uh let me let me lay out the gimmick of this level uh via this door we shall see that this is the end of the level you know i guess that's the palace even though it totally looks like nothing's behind it but if you go up to the door i'm saving these coins for the end by the way it's a golden idol door. This is the only golden idol door in the game, and it's basically the very, very super special key for the, for the level. Uh, oh yeah. Uh, where did I put? I wanted to go first. Checkpoint. I think I put down. Use the stairs. So we'll go up the stairs first. Uh, the only way I would say you shouldn't go is uh, that door, which leads you to the end of the, you know, level. And up those stairs leads towards that direction as well. Uh, you'll need the other item for up here, so... Uh, there we go. Lots of coins. Uh, yeah, also a few levels now are going to be dropping like a hundred coins on you. Um... But yeah, no, I, I've definitely... I say this on the second stream. I've definitely enjoyed this game, and I've sort of been like, eh, no, I'm just playing it. Of course I hide something on the back of this, by the way. Uh, the money pot before the time runs out. You gotta find that money pot in your left ear. Notice some of these challenges get kind of annoying, like this one is like... It's a little bit luck-based. Your odds gotta be kind of bad if it's gonna be one of the last ones you find, but it's definitely a bit tight. Um, there we go. Uh, you're gonna need another red idol. So, oh, yeah. Kets is over here. Hey, hey, guess what? I've got a red idol. Say no more. <laughs> he just let, he just lets us go. Uh, there's no coins here, but it is definitely. Uh, you know, it's it's a sequence where you gotta make sure you chase him. It's not too bad, but I can see how this throws off a kid. He is sort of fast, like takes a bit to to hit, and then. Son. Oh. <laughs> Son. <laughs> what will I do for red idols then? And of course, it gives you get another red idol. Ooh, yeah. Make sure as well that uh, this Isma statue sees the light of day. Ooh, yeah. Take it out. Take her out of the suffering. Yeah. Uh, but I wanted to mention um, uh, one topic, and it's sort of escaping my memory, but it will come up eventually. I'll get there. Uh, so I might as well talk about just uh, something I played uh, this week, which is uh, I played through Super Mario 64. I know. It's... It's like, yeah, everyone's played Super Mario 64. What are you doing? Aha! It's the demon lava that Yzma warned me about. Prepare to meet your doom. Prepare to meet your doom. I love this guy. I hope I'm safe on this tower. His peak male physique right here. The widest shoulders known to man. Uh, I don't think he's got any coins near him as well, which is bizarre. We're going for so long without coins, but you gotta Donkey Kong your way up here. It took a while, but finally there's a barrel. Uh, unfortunately, well, I guess in Donkey Kong you can't jump on him, so... <laughs> and then you murder him. And 
gonna just gonna drop down and chase him around. This is some amazing sequences. Also, also yes, that's the whole point of this. Also, by the way, there's a secret for drop kicking this guy while he's down. I don't know why he put that as a secret. It's incredible. It is incredible. I love it. Um, but yeah, he knocked down the statue of Peg because uh, yeah, that's your goal. You got to break all the three Isma statues in the level. Each one, for some odd reason, its integrity uh, is bound to a platform. You'll need to raise all three of these platforms because uh, it's the only way to get that idol at the end. A golden idol. So, uh, let me do a... I was a little worried there, but yeah. Uh, it is a bit of a dead end, but, you know, you broke two of the statues, so it's not that bad. Uh, okay, back here, we're going... Now to the door on, well, it's my right, it's the center of where we started, and it just leads back to the very start of the level, where Patra still hasn't gone anywhere, by the way. I thought you'd like to know. So let's go to the high door. Interestingly, for a level with 100 coins, it's not too long. I guess I'm already 16 minutes into the stream, but I feel like I took a while to start off. I watched the full motion video at the beginning. Camera. They wanted to make you want to kill it. There you go. Once you raise all three platforms, you got an easy trek to the golden idol. Got some coins. I gotta do some jumps. You know how it do be. Um, but yeah, no, I played Super Mario 64, and in particular, I went for the, uh, the retro- Yeah, we've seen this, right? I went for the retro achievement set. Now, this retro achievement set is noteworthy, because it's gone through a couple of iterations already, and it's in this bizarre point where, like, it's got a handful of achievements for, like, you know, the regular completion of the levels, you know? Finish each world, uh, get so many power stars, like, that kind of stuff. Um... You know, there, there might be some where it's like, okay, beat Bowser without taking a hit. Beat the bosses without taking a hit. Like, sure, okay. I don't know why there's this full motion video uh, from when uh, Kuzco was nearly going to get dropped off the the palace. You can see you can see for one frame that's like right where it is at the end. Um, and I guess for reference, that would probably be the earliest... Uh, full version video of the film. Because it happened before the film, but... We got more city! Woo! This is when we start getting to horrendously abstract stuff, like, what am I looking at there? You know? Also, are we technically in the city? In the palace? It still kind of looks the same, because the whole world always has the same aesthetic the whole way through. I guess this is the one, like... You know, biggest criticism is that uh, a lot of the level identity is a bit, you know, harsh because there's not much, there's not many landmarks in the level that don't particularly relate to the, like, just level geometry itself. And I know what you're saying, it's like, oh, but all the levels follow some function. Yeah, but it's like, this is like just a place full of walls. I don't, I don't get to see anything in particular. Like, yeah, Red Idol Door. I've not seen one of those before. There were two in the last level. Three, technically, if you're gonna count the golden one. A room with guards. I don't think I've done an ascending room, have I? Maybe I have. At least that statue or something. But still, that would be my biggest criticism. So we've made it into the palace. Yes, although how you got here, I have no idea. Oh, I just took a shortcut. Yeah, the next time you find one of your shortcuts, you might want to mention it to me. Oh, sure. No problem. The entrance to the throne room is guarded, so we should try to sneak in through the royal gardens. I like gardens. Mainly because they're filled with things to eat, I suppose. 
Can I just say that the perspective warping on the texture is horrendous? It looks like a flat texture and then... Ooh! <laughs> it can't keep it straight, bro. It tries its best. But don't worry, they added a intentionally diagonal or jagged line here just to make the jaggedness of the steps <laughs> because of the texture warping not look too bad. And alright, so we got two sides before a, a you know, double-sided door. The key thing with these switches is you shoot them and it alternates a platform. This platform just exists in space. You know, Kuzco is trying to, you know, create a, a summer home or, or a summer get getaway place and I'm like, bro, you know, you're sitting on this wonderful technology. Let's have a uh, I want to shoot that one first, don't I? I'll take that back over. Yeah, you want to make sure you shoot the right ones hmm. in some of these rooms. We're going to be doing this for a bit. Not too much, but it's a bit. You need a cutscene to tell you what you're doing. Um, but yeah, the Super Mario 64 set starts to get a little more Check obnoxious uh, once we start to include um, collect all one-ups in each of the levels so including the bowser and the whatever levels they're trying to hit these things while on a moving platform it's gonna happen a few times it's just it's just the nature of the the level i guess that's so we're back into the center again you know how it's gonna be it's two it's two red idols to be honest this this puzzle threw me off as a kid like after i got to it, I was like, what do I do here? Someone's probably going to look back through the, the Let's Play. The 20, it was actually 2010, it wasn't tw 2009, it was actually 2010, so I was a bit older. Booyah! But I was still an idiot, let's just say that. Oh my gosh, you're going to put the, there you go, put the pot up the ledge. It takes its time. Um, getting all the one-ups in, in a level is a bit, let's just say challenging, because one, a lot of them are really unknown. Like, some of them are like, people didn't even realize were there. Like, there's one in Bowser and the Fire Sea where, you know the platforms? Like, the connected, like, chain of platforms that, like, goes up. Um, like, go up and down. But, like, from the bottom it doesn't look like anything's happening. But, yeah, from the top. Um, if, right at the very end, if you stand on the furthest corner of it, and just ride it from the bottom all the way to the very top, you hit three trigger points and a one-up appears. There's no indicator, it's probably one of the most hidden one-ups. Um, speaking of hidden one-ups, yeah, look at that, a secret. This is a room where you jump on platforms, although it's not the first room that we've done this in, isn't it? It's like the original, like, wompy secret was this. I still love this guy's music. I love it. It's my womp. Um, but it gets worse. We start getting the stars that are, um, oh sorry, the the achievements that are collect all the stars in a level. Uh, how many coins am I at? Eleven. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, collect all the coins. Some of the levels Checkpoint. are very easy. Uh, did you know that um, Jolly Roger Bay only has a hundred and six coins? So, you're getting 100, you didn't really lose that many. It's pretty easy. But then some of them, like, uh, I think legitimately the worst one is uh, Tiny Huge Island. Um, where it's just like, you've got to, like, go into the, the, the tiny version of the island and make sure that you don't let any Goomba walk into you. Otherwise, they don't drop a coin. You have to jump on them. And they're so tiny. They're absolutely teeny tiny. It's very difficult to consistently, you know, get them. And then you go to the big island and you have to make sure you ground pound on all the Goombas and you have to make sure that when you use the cannon that you don't accidentally just fall on the Goomba. You know, it happened to me a couple of times. Uh, and then, you know, all the enemies are just going to be walking off the cliffs anyways, which isn't the worst, but you got to, like, respawn them. Another red yeah, idol. Jump, wow. Jump, jump, jump. There we go. Is Patra say anything? Let's have a look see. Isn't there something you should be doing? Anything? <laughs> oh my gosh, jeez. I wasn't expecting the sass to come back at me. 
<laughs> um. Checkpoint. But yeah, uh, and then just the cherry on the cake. There's a bunch of achievements that involve beating the levels in rather unorthodox ways, and some of those took me just a lot of attempts. There's one in Jolly Roger Bay for um. Uh, I forget the name of the star, but it's the one where you gotta use the cannon to shoot up onto the stalagmite and then jump off onto a platform. Uh, there's an achievement that says, yeah, do it without the cannon. And I'm like, really? It's, it, it's just a very precise jump you gotta pull off. It's one jump, but it, it does involve a wall jump at the end. It's fairly involved. I'm pretty sure, uh, by the way, Croc had a level that looked exactly like this, because they did the, um, the Mayan temples. I guess this is more Aztec, but, like, they did the, the temples of the, in the fourth world. Are they already... I swear, they're probably reusing a bunch of art assets. Speaking of reusing art assets, check out this dialogue. This is the most amazing thing in the whole game. Hmm. This wall is so weak that even a llama could charge through it. Really? It's a good thing there are no llamas charging around. Oh, yes. It might be worth reiterating that point. Good idea. Let's hope that no llama thinks to charge through this wall. They only exist for this one moment. <laughs> this oh, yeah. one sweet moment of glorious, glorious writing. incredible uh but yeah the achievements just oh they go off the rails so uh my head's up to you if you see that the game you know has 20,000 people who played it and you've also seen me actually get every achievement in it um just know you really should be doing it if you love it don't don't yeah, yeah. worry about 100%ing all these achievements if you don't particularly care definitely play through Mario 64 if you've never played it but um, yeah, no, there's no shame in not getting all the coins in each level, because it is a doozy and a half. You will be on some of these levels for a handful of hours each. Um, you'll probably find it's not very fun, but the one thing I at least thought was alright out of the whole bunch um, is that uh, the uh, number of... or I guess every attempt, I never particularly felt I was regressing um, some of it was luck-based, but I never felt like I was really running into the same problem twice. It's mostly just, okay, reevaluate, be a bit smarter. I love how both of these are secrets, but th they're required. You need the idols in order to continue the level. What's so secret about it? Out of my way. We're gonna get this, uh, this platform, this timed platform. You probably saw the door as I passed it earlier. You kind of have to know this layout a little bit off the top of your head, because it's like, oh my gosh, it's a bit of corners. But you definitely know, like, the one thing I'd say is, you know that you're going the wrong way if you hit the other door. The, you know, the wall that you broke earlier. So, remember, it is not left. It is the second left. And that timer gives you so much anxiety, I swear. This is a bit of a weird puzzle, and I'm not 100% sure if, uh... Even I Check quite point. know what, what you're going for, but, uh, you got two switches here. You can see this one makes a platform that's close to you. And this one makes a platform that's above, or rather, it swaps. The one here. I think what you want to do is you want to stand right in the center, and then shoot the, the platform down. This will cause it to disappear from you. But you do land on everything. And then... Oh, wait! This is the croc sound effect! It's dead silent, you'll never hear it. We already had the croc sound effect, though. Maybe that was from croc, anyways. Um, but yeah, no, it's, that's that was just it. <laughs> that was that room. But you got another idol, so cool. Uh, run Lava towards the, the, uh, the time switch again. Um, the right way just led to a dead end, but the time switch had uh, an extra bit afterwards. And at this point as well, I love these levels with 100 coins, because it means you're very Check likely point. to probably just max out your charge bar. Pfft. 
Uh, but yeah, no, the, the, those achievements were absolute pain. Uh, the game itself, though, Mario 64, it is a classic. It's kind of one where it's like, I don't know if I really should play it, because I don't exactly know if I'd offer anything new from it. I first played Mario 64 via the DS game, because I was at that age where it wasn't on the Virtual Console yet. Like, this was like 2005. It was like, well, what's on the Virtual Console yet? And the Nintendo 64 was definitely long gone. So I was like, that was the way to play it. And on top of that, like, people rip on it because it doesn't have an analog stick. But it's not that bad. It's actually, like, pretty alright. Because orienting the camera kind of lets you do the work you actually need to. Um, there's a couple of sequences, I guess. Um, let's have a look. -see. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So... You want to jump to the end of these. These platforms suddenly have an hourglass on the Let's side of them. And you just have to notice that, uh... Gotta shoot all three of these stars. Stars? Suns, I guess. And then make sure you get the platforming real quick. Oh yeah, I'm jumping. Got 90 jumpy, coins, you've done well. Now note the statue, because, uh... It exists. We've got that music again. You know what time it is. That's right, it's time for... Checkpoint. We're going right this time. It's time for a sneak past the guards and get the, uh... Statue thing at the top. Whee! Oh yeah, I'm jumping, 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 jump. It's not too bad, but... Uh, you gotta make sure... <laughs> you be a little patient. Also, I like how when you're on the little step bits, they just don't see you Checkpoint. at all. This one's got a timed platform. Oh. Well, that actually wasn't too bad. Whee! Oh yeah, I'm jumping, 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 jump. There we go. This is his torso. It looks like his head, but trust me, it's the torso. But you're gonna need the head, so you gotta go the other way as well. Um, definitely some people say, yeah, Mario 64 is a classic. I definitely think it is. It hasn't aged like wine. It's definitely aged like... Um, how would I say? It's aged like 80s pop. It's Whee! fundamental, and it's something oh, yeah. that we kind of did need jumpy, at the jumpy. time. But it's certainly got its crustier parts about it. Um, that being said, though, it does a fairly good job compared to any other, like, platformer around its time. And I know that some people will say, you know, oh, it's one of Nintendo's first 3D platformers, but it's like, there's a lot of really crusty platformers. Not to say that they're all bad, but that, like, Mario 64 got a lot of things right, and I think it's partially because its controls were, <laughs> like, actually, like, very fun to, to play around with. Does that make the level design that great? Mm, it's a bit here and there at times. I could do without some of those really narrow platforms. I could do without the, um... Uh... Without, uh... What's, what's something I hate? Lethal Lava Land's kind of annoying. The number of times you just fall into pits. Eh. Another level with a hundred coins and three secrets? Oh my goodness. I, I hope there's more levels with a hundred- We got another full motion video. It just happens. It's like three seconds long. They wanted to get that full motion video budget out, especially for the city levels. The city levels aren't even like that long. I guess they're relatively longer than some of the other levels, but... Hey, we're still getting this done in this stream, so... There's only three chapters in the city um, world as well, so don't worry. But uh, the aesthetic on this one's wildly different because we're going to be indoors the whole time. And we're going to have those wonderful uh, Argonaut, like, just dark cave sequences. You know what I mean? It's like the draw distance is too low to see the whole room. But you can just see, like, black ceiling or, like... You know what I mean? It just happens. Dang it, Argonaut. And now we got a lot of those, uh... Walking up the ledge with the guards. And there's Yzma again. I love this statue on the side, though, because it sticks out a little bit. Like, what are you doing here? <laughs> 
Boy, this place sure is impressive. I'm glad you like it, considering it's all mine. I don't think Yzma would agree with you there. Well, it's time Yzma and I had a little chat about that. So what do we have to do to make you human again? We have to get to my throne room and We got to the, the 20th to the level before we actually had a plan. Right? Don't you mean Yzma's throne room? Not for very much longer, if I have my way. Okay. Any other lines? Let's move it out, little buddy. Let's move it. That is an incredible line. Uh, so anyway, obviously Yzma has an alligator, and just like the last alligator, you can kill it. Unlike the last alligator, uh, yeah. it just evaporates. So, okay. Um, do note that multiple times in the level, uh, there's gonna be just a, a secret that's just in the wall. This is probably one of the harder ones to realize where the secrets are. Like, it's just... yeah, okay, sure. Pop the pot on the coin, on the pad, not on the coin, oh my gosh. Skates its way through. And uh, this is a door, by the way. So, another pot, another pad, ouch. <laughs> and uh, that opens the door, so. There you go. Not a, not a tricky Whee! puzzle, but not to be oh, looking yeah. sure, okay. Jump, jump. Now this is a liminal space if I've ever seen one. It just exists just to transition between rooms. Oh, you thought we, you thought we weren't done with these platforms. Nah, we're gonna be using them for the whole game. It's a bit of a weird ledge there. Uh, I believe that I don't think there's anything up towards the ceiling. If anything, you'll kind of notice. Oh, there's, there's no ceiling. It's just everything Whee! ends here. Jump, jump, uh, jump, jump, jump. I think you've got to. Let's have a look, see. We have to shoot this again. Let's have a look, see. Yeah. Watch out for the pendulum because Argonaut loves the pendulums. We got one coin, and that's right. More secret. Oh, it's my wampy. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I. I've got kind of like, not mixed thoughts, but like sometimes people like go a bit too hard on a game or too, you know, die hard on a game. Um, speaking of die hard on a game, uh, I don't really know where I was segueing on this one, but just, just, again, this sequence, I told you, they're so off the rails. Excuse me. Step aside, pal. I got places to go. Well, me too, but those crazy peacocks stole my clothes. And why should this interest me in the least? I can't get out of your way until I get my shorts back. Let me see if I've got this right. You want me to go pick up your underwear? <laughs> you want to stomach your look. Oh, I'm, I'm glad it fixed itself for the end. When I'm human again, you and that bird are going to become endangered species. I, I'm I'm glad that like can I get like you know community guidelines strike for whatever I'm looking at here by the way bro's got the Barbie anatomy right there so anyway uh, oh, I hate this this room in particular because they put coins along the path of this guard but he'll walk towards a dead end And the only way that you can really get around it checkpoint. is by getting this checkpoint so that, like, when the guard spots you, I think he'll throw you up here. And then, yeah, let him turn around and then just slowly get the pots from behind his back. Booyah. Because you can't, you know, follow him into the, into the dead end because he just turns around at the very end for the last one. Booyah. So he's going to spot me at some point. Well, get there. Also, some alarms go off in this room. I don't know why. In in this whole level. And yes, yes, that's right. Another secret. You know, why not? We already got the wampy though. So, uh, this is a room. I think it's got yeah, it's got a couple of well, one coin here. I think there's a gold coin at the end. You see it there. 
Okay, so how do we do this? Yeah. Move the closed platform to what stays. I realize I don't have any charge. There's no charge so far on this level as well. Um, but anyway, yeah, I don't know. I think some people idolize Super Mario 64 a little bit too much. I definitely think it's an important game. Um, and certainly it has a lot of strengths. Like, it's got a lot of content for a game of that time. There's the elusive underwear. It, I think it's underwear. Um, I'd also say it has one of the greatest video game soundtracks of all time. It's the fact that, like, even though there is a fair bit of repeat music, it's the fact that it's all so memorable. There we go. Let's get this thing back. Just hope I didn't shoot that first one a bit too soon. I shot a bit too soon. Nice. Okay, let's get the platform over and then start shooting them. Yes, that is right. That's four gold coins chilling right there. Oh. There's no point right there to the end if I've missed them all. Um, but yeah, I think that it's just a little quirky in its level design, and I'm still of the opinion that 100 coins isn't exactly the most fun. I get it. But I don't think it's fun for like how the coins, you know, be spawn in that game. I'd prefer it if it's a little more consistent on that regard. Um, also, one ups are pointless because every time you die, you exit the level. Every time you game over, you exit the level. Except you go back a little further in the main world, oh, and funny. when you turn off the game, oh, you lose all your life. lives. And he's gone, by the way. There he goes. This has got to be the weirdest day of my entire life. Nice. So you'd like to spit at things? Oh, you're gonna get so tired of this room, by the way, because I, I'm gonna keep checking all the all the walls. Um, I think I wrote down after two of these rooms. Um, so as you go into the next room, we've got this, like, bouncy ball puzzle. Uh, I'm gonna sort of spoil the... Oh my gosh, I think I'm... Nice. Ow! I'm gonna sort of spoil the, the puzzle here. Um, you're supposed to use these pots to, like, put them on each of the pads. But you can... Okay, Ow! they really want me to do it. I've done it without putting the, you know, one on each pad. I, I swear you can walk this one. This is secretly where I'm going to burn my continue, though. Also, the sound that plays when this ball lands in the guy's gob. <sighs> Wonderful royalty-free sound effect. Um, checking the walls every check. time. He, he's telling me to check. The game's telling me to check. So, now, Yeah, I don't want to rip on Mario 64, uh, but definitely, yeah, the achievement set is like, you got to be a very die-hard person to... You know, play that achievement set. Um, so just play the game normally and then see how you go. And maybe get like the 106 coins on Wet Dry World. Not Wet Dry World. Well, actually, yeah, do Wet Dry World. It's not that hard. All the world levels aren't actually that bad at the end of the day. It's this one. Look at that. Your superstition pays off in the end. Except then you got to kill these bunnies while they're all above this ledge. Ah, I'm, I'm dying right past them. I'm dying right past them. Fortunately, uh, nothing stops you from just trying again. Also, again, I, I feel like... Booyah! Oh like, I want to roll in... Oh, this is right on the edge. I want to, like, roll into him, but I know I'm going to probably just, like, sail straight off the level. A bit too close to particularly like see them all. This didn't take me as many attempts on my on my practice. Let me tell you that. Just need like. Yeah. 
I just realized the music didn't reset as well when I fell off. Um, yeah. So yeah, Mario 64, fun game. Uh, also, uh, yeah, the, the one achievement, the worst achievement, probably... Or one of the worst... No, no, no. Yeah, okay. Uh, one of the worst achievements would have been um, in Die Die Docks, get the red coin uh, star for jumping over the... Was it pole vault over the second? I don't know. You're riding the poles and getting the red coins. Um, do that before Bowser's sub disappears, which means the poles don't exist. It's possible, but it does require some rather Ooh, particular yeah. jumping near the end. Um, but with the sub on screen, I don't know why, the frame rate chugs. Not like an emulator frame rate, as in like that just seems to be what the thing seems to output. It's bizarrely slow in that sequence. Um, it's much better afterwards, but it's like, yeah, well, I'm trying to get that one achievement, I gotta do it right before the sub goes. I, I just love that he can't see me, apparently. Oh, uh, this giant pot walking up the slope. Uh, we're good, we're good, nice. Nearly at the end of the level. But unfortunately, you gotta do, uh... More of this room, this room that never ceases to... Hold on. I wrote, wait, no, sorry, back up, back up a little bit. I, I wrote immediately in the next scene. There you go. There's one last one. That would have been terrible if I just walked right past that one. Immediately in the scene after the guards, there's another room. There you go. And there's one last gold coin before the end of the level. This is when we start getting into some like, oh, okay, like they're actually using this as a mechanic. And it only appears in this level, again. So you gotta, I hate that you can get hit by the, the ball and it misses the, the drum. There you go. And I'll launch it further. So it goes over this pit that definitely wasn't the, that's not a crock pit. It's a crock pit at the beginning of the level, I guess. Or was it an alligator? Uh, so the other game I've been playing through, and I haven't quite beaten it yet, um, but I've beaten it before, is uh, Need for Speed uh, Underground, a game that some people will love, and I will definitely say it's not as good as Metropolis Street Racer. Um, I I played it on the PC earlier, and I'm giving the PS2 version a go, and there's definitely, like, I appreciate the visuals, but I still feel like City Racers, and I shall rip on Metropolis Street Racer still, um, they get a little, you know, hard to navigate. There's a bit too much going on in the city. You'll just run into poles or other kinds of, like, features. Um, just because it's like, well, it's just there. It's not particularly well telegraphed. You just gotta learn it's there. Um, uh, but there's one... Really? I'm not on, not on the same ledge. Like, that guy is making up stuff. He is hallucinating. Um, yeah, he's gonna turn around immediately. His sequence is borked now. And now he goes the long way. He turned around much earlier, didn't he? The nice thing is if you get caught, I'm pretty sure the pot just kind of stays where it was. I don't think the pot resets. So. But that'll be famous last words if it does, which it probably will. This is gonna be gutsy. Of course he turns around that soon. Of course he does. That's the end of the level as well. Um, but terrifyingly, there's a coin right before the end. So it's like, oh, you gotta make sure that you actually get that coin before you go in. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. Game was nearly about to catch me there. And then I said, nah, we'll be nice. Oh, excuse Alright, so Check. if you had 100 coins, you did it. And the Wampy. Well, well, well. The ex-emperor has returned to claim his throne. Make sure you dust it off on your way out, Yzma. Your reign of terror is over. I wonder how many of your subjects would follow a llama. A llama. Not many, I suspect. 
It's still better than having a woman who is scary beyond all reason sitting on my throne. <laughs> How absurd. Sarcastic comments coming from a llama who believes he's the emperor. Enough talk, Yzma. Let's finish this. Llamas first. Amazing dialogue. Uh, this is probably the worst yep. boss fight in the game, not because it's hard, but because it's just annoying. She's gonna throw potions. You can shoot the potions, but you're probably gonna miss, like what I did. And she'll sometimes miss. And you're pro you've got enough, you know, room to take the hits, and if you've taken too many hits... Whoops. Also, these platforms and their infinitely large hitboxes. You want to make a staircase. Okay. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. I got it. <laughs> There's one of these uh, health things on either side of the stage as well, so it's like... There's nothing that's particularly, like, hard about... I mean, yeah, try and do this hitless. That'll be the big challenge. But, like, for what the game requires you... It's not, it's not that, that demanding. But without this potion, you'll never be human again. And she decides to... just chill on this chair for a bit. <laughs> it's amazing delivery. She claps. Hit something. Whoop, there she goes. And uh, she's gone in the other room, so I'm pretty certain. Yeah, no, there's nothing else. Now that you got your throne room back, all we need to do is turn you back into a human. Why is it you're never around when I'm in extreme danger? I don't want to interfere where it's not my place, Your Highness. Well, 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 Yzma still has that potion that'll turn me back into a human. But how are we gonna catch her? I know a secret entrance to the catacombs. Just follow me. I know exactly what to do. Oh, they use the semicolon in the actual proper place. And the level automatically ends. And that's the end of the, um, the city world. Probably one of the longer worlds. Seven secrets, wow. Probably one of the longer worlds in the game. Um, perhaps the longest. Even though that the next two worlds have five levels. Um, you're gonna find that, well, three of them goes crazy quick. We gotta, we gotta do the roller coaster segments. Uh, this is a polarizing thing for some people, because some people just, and there's noises in my ears sometimes. Um, some people can react to this, some people can't. Cusco, line up with the corners, and I'll bet they'll automatically turn us around. That is some really bizarre dialogue, because they just, they're showing you exactly what happens. Um, I gotta... I wrote nine coins really easy to start off. Uh, if you just like the panther section, if you miss any coins, just kill yourself. You don't lose any health. Okay, cool. I wrote down nine coins. And I said, they start to speak. Oh, my companion. But no, we have our own destinies and yours. Culminates here. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> lean, lean. Dude, Pacha never does anything in this game for that exact reason. For that exact reason. So I wrote down there's two pairs of two coins. There you go. You got jumps as well. I don't think any of these coins are particularly hard to see. But there's the Wampy. It's, yeah, some of those coins get kind of annoying though, because uh, the controls are backwards for reference when, I'm, when you're facing the other way. It's not too bad in this first level, but... It can, it can get kind of annoying, but yeah, no, it's one of it's, it's one of the quicker levels, if not the shortest level in the whole game. <laughs> but there's three of these. There will be one on level three and one on level five of the chapter. Oh, another another very short ten seconds from the film that you won't be able to you won't be able to see on YouTube. It's a Twitch only thing. You got to get your Disney Plus if you want to watch it. Um. Oh, there's another noise again. <laughs> Jeez. Um, there we go. This is the meat of the catacombs level, and this is when we start getting into the like, ah, uh, what kind of level design. This is, uh, I mean, granted, I guess they did this level design already. Croc is filled with just these long, 
hallway kind of bridges and pendulums and boxes flipping about. We've already done this. We've <laughs> also, Pacha was at the end already. Excuse me. Um, a little, a little bit of a well. I don't know. Whew, that was quite a ride. Continuity. That's the word I'm looking for. Recover. Yeah, yeah. I'll do all the work as usual. Nice. Uh, do you like Mario 64 loose coins that are kind of annoying to get? Because you'll love these bats. There's going to be a couple in the... Just these two catacombs levels, but you got to make sure that they don't drop the coin over the edge of the level. Uh, I... You could just probably spot, like, everything that Mario 64 does. These are, you know, we've got the angry blocks, we've got the platforms, we've got the bats. We've got a lot of these secrets all over the place. As well. Checkpoint. I don't recall these boxes. This is more a croc thing. Yeah. Could, could have gone a little better there. Would I... I still want to know, where in space are we? Like, this is just under the palace. And like, I'm okay if it's like, you know, some kind of secret... Well, I say I'm okay with some secret roller coaster, but I'm also like... That it's is, like uh... <laughs> it's, just, it's nondescript under the castle and no, or under the palace and no one's seen it, but sure, okay. Uh, yes, that only had a wampy, by the way. Yes, the frame rate is chugging. That's not your stream. That is the game. There's too much going on. Checkpoint. They've got such a horrendously low draw distance, and it's still not enough. Uh, that exit is the way to go in the level. So, um, yeah, Need for Speed Underground is a game. Uh, I, I I mentioned it's kind of like Metropolis Street Racer uh, because it is a street racer. You. Uh, have one big city and uh, all the various tracks are various layouts through the city. The one thing that I wish the game did yeah. was you know, kind of laid out where the tracks were in the city a bit better. Um, nice. Uh, because you kind of, you know, you pick the, the tracks from a menu like you just get invited to events over and over and over again and you don't exactly know your progression through the game beyond like just oh you're on event 80 of 111 or something like that um but quite a bunch of the events will reuse the same tracks over and over again there's only so many layouts they could use um, unfortunately metropolis street racer exists and we get to compare the pair of city races and uh go from there so the one thing metropolis street racer really has is a lot more variety not only do you have three cities with three different locales in each and granted each one is a fair bit smaller than the overall large city of uh um did I yeah i picked up one extra coin um but i feel like the overall like variety of the locations in uh, metropolis street racer definitely helps the top coins here are kind of annoying because you just have to kind of guess where the top of the these cat lifts? I guess they're cat lifts. They're cats. Pretty sure you just gotta do this for that coin. Yeah. Um, the other thing I feel like Metropolis Street Rest does better is um, the progression of the cars. In particular, um, Need for Speed Underground, Checkpoint. as you do more events, you'll get more... Um, I guess just higher level cosmetics. Um, these higher level, oh, these higher level cosmetics will, uh, you know, improve your your street cred, and improving your street cred mm. gives you more. Uh, oh, this is gonna be fun, isn't it? Um, improving your street cred gives you Let's like a, a larger multiplier for getting more street cred, um, and that's fine. Uh, if you're going for the retro treatments, because of course, of course you are. Um, you're gonna need them, but. Uh, just at very nondescript points in the game, you'll get a uh, enough. Um, yeah, I hate that they just put the coin like just. Yeah. Uh, at nondescript points, you'll just get like here's an here's an oops here's an upgrade available. You can now buy the next uh, upgrade, and it's like um, I've never oh, ran out. Of Let's pay attention. I would not like to die. 
So if they don't want you to do a charge jump, they sorry, if they don't require you to do a charge jump, they're not gonna put any boost near it. Uh, I'm pretty sure, yep, they hit another secret right here. You know, as you do. Checkpoint. Remember the the, the bully red ant levels in or level in Croc 2? Just thought I'd remind you of that one. Um But yeah, yeah. The the Mazda like MX5 that you start the game with weirdly becomes the like the best car in the game and i'm not saying that as like oh you know like any car can be upgraded to be the best car it's like no like your upgrades carry over as you switch cars but the mazda mx5 inherently has the best stats until the skyline right near the end of the game it's bizarre that like you know you're not encouraged to keep switching cars um the upgrades carry you through um you're also required to buy the upgrades um so the game sort of just gives you enough, um, what's the, there it is, the, the game sort of gives you enough money, like plenty of money, to just, you know, live your dreams and just buy whatever, but it's like, okay, well what's the point of the money then? Because you're just going to give Check me stuff uh, between the levels and then eventually I'll just be upgraded to the max anyways. Die, scorpions. Dude, the scorpions became sentient, they'd hate how much we, like, villain villainize them in games. They're like, you use the same, like, animation as the lobsters? How could you? I hate these slow-moving pendulums as well. And these really long boxes. Like... Take forever, I tell ya. Uh, I do prefer the Metropolis Street Racer approach of just certain races will give you a, a car as an upgrade. Look at that, by the way. Two rooms for a secret. Um. And, uh, I, I like how you'll build up this kind of garage of cars and some will be better at certain events than others. Um, even though by the end of the game, uh, I think also a Skyline is the best car in the game. Um. But I do like, uh, just, you know, hey, here's a car, as opposed to, like, his very arbitrary, like, upgrade name. Ow. Yeah. Okay, so there's an idol. Now, here's an interesting thing. You get a two red idol door on your right, but there's also a singular red idol door. This is, by the way, the worst bat in the whole game. It may only be on this level, but it's like, I'm trying to make sure that I'm aiming straight, but then, like, I can't see that I'm aiming straight. You know, like, I'm kind of guessing. There we go, it's not too bad. Um, but there's a singular red idol door in front. So let's burn the singular red idol on this door. Are you ready for the most amazing... This is what I meant about the red idol. You go in here... Checkpoint. And, uh, I'm gonna go around this way, by the way. You'll notice it's a track, you know. It's a track, it kind of loops around. Ah, oh, okay, sure. There's a lot of boosts. There's no coins. Just a lot of boosts. Okay, and then, oh, look, look who's at the end here. You'll never catch me! And he's got this weird lanky legs there. You're really and they're reusing the dialogue this. from the first level, are you? Uh, are they? Um, I'm gonna now hit charge the moment this cutscene ends. <laughs> Someday, I'll learn to stop taunting you. And you know what your reward for this is? <laughs> so long, kid. A red idol. That's right, you use a red idol to go into a room that has no coins, no secrets, no whatever. Just to get another red idol. It is a completely worthless room. You do not have to go into this room in any way. And, and like, why would you? <laughs> it's like, there's not even any benefit. Also, this kid's down here. Can you remember how to charge jump using the charge and jump button? Hmm. Why? <laughs> um, no reason. Just 
10 out of 10 hey, delivering. Hey, little kid, stop following me around and fix me a sandwich, would you? I don't understand the word sandwich. You've got a lot to learn. Get your hair cut while you're at it, hippie. I don't know why this Check kid point. appears here, but sure, okay. Um, so let's go into the actual, like, Check you have to go point. in here to continue level. Why am I so brightly lit right here, by the way? Hmm. Is that my croc sound effect? We're back. Um, so yeah. Uh, whoop. <laughs> That's not to say Need for Speed Underground doesn't have strengths of its own. I think the, the car handling is actually like pretty nice, uh, for the most part, until you have to start doing tight corners, then it's a bit jank, for sure. Um, I like the drift events. Uh, the drag races are okay. Some of it starts becoming a bit trial and error later, where it's like, eh, kind of have to wait for the AI to just goof up real hard. Um, but in general, yeah. It's also got a, a lovely kind of... I, I feel like the um, the aesthetic is very heavily <sighs> not the not the perspective warping by looking down. Um, very re Lava reminiscent of uh, the Fast and Furious movie uh, with its uh, nighttime street racing. Um, the difference is that uh, you run into traffic a lot in this game, and I guess uh, that's probably where Need for Speed got its kind of bad boy unlicensed. Well, I don't know. Need for Speed has always had this, like, it keeps, you know, flipping between personalities where sometimes it's a uh, well-renowned racing game franchise and other times it's like arcadey, uh, run away from the police kind of game. Uh, Need for Speed Underground doesn't exactly have the run away from the police game, uh, you know, kind of gameplay that's more popularized and most wanted. Um, and, uh... Uh, not to be confused with um, Hot Pursuit as well. And uh, then there was Hot Pursuit 2, which just keeps getting more oh, yeah. confusing, doesn't it? Uh, by the way, yeah, there are no coins after that one bad eye shot, by the way. You just have to do all of this work just to get Out two red idols. Way. Just to go in this one room. It better be worth it, right? Well, that's the way to continue the level. So, sort of is. Look at all these coins! Checkpoint! And that's the lighting going, going wax again. Okay, sure. Oh, this part! This part! Hey, you're not allowed to play here! Listen, Rock Boy, I couldn't care less. I am the Emperor. Really? Oh, we are so scared. You're cruising for a bruising, Blockhead. Like, you even know how to hit us. <laughs> oh, we see about that. I love how they joke about it, but, like, all it is is that you just gotta, like, charge him from the Lama back. But, like, you think that's bizarre, and then, like, I mean, one, Woo when did this ever happen in the film? But also, this. That's what you get when you mess with the Emperor. What have you done with my chance? <laughs> and then suddenly, this is just a, a boss fight, huh? Oh, no, it's the black bombs you want to roll into. Hit him three times, because of course everything dies in three hits. I love the sound effect, it's like a... Boing, boing, boing. That is just someone's, like, mouth. Made that noise. I'm a big, bad, rumbling lump of rock, and I'm gonna flatten you. Well, not today, pal. Not today, and, and he's dead. I've just murdered masonry. Checkpoint. This is a very Womp's Fortress moment, isn't it? And yeah, no, you, that just happens. Just mid-level boss fight. Hey, I did not murder the wife. We left one. Oh no, we've left one. One witness, or she didn't witness. Checkpoint. Um. So, oh. Ah, there you are. What took you so long? <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> he stopped. His dialogue broke. No. Okay. So before we leave, uh, which by the way, that is the end of the level. 
Um, we've got one bit here, which is, uh, some real Damn. gutsy jumps. Okay, I, yeah. you don't need to get to the end, but... I'm gonna get these coins. These are just all here. Really gutsy jumps, I tell ya. Yeah. And on the left side, well, they're not as gutsy. Hasty. I think they're all just regular old diagonal jumps. Get all quickly fob. Oh, 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 no. Yeah. Maybe it was a single, yeah. Inherited the yeah, kids. <laughs> In his settlement, he was allowed to see them on Mondays only, and this is what happens. It's technically a secret at the end. Do you think it's a secret at the far end? With the other one? Let's have a go at that one again. Nope. It's not a secret at this end. Okay. Yeah. Well, that is a hundred coins, so... Might as well just... Finish the level, you know. Is that every secret? Yeah! No secret unturned. That's probably one of the only secrets that technically doesn't involve a coin. Um... Did you like the the last roller coaster level? Because you're gonna love this one again, maybe. Cusco, line up with the corners, and I'll bet they'll automatically turn us around. You'll be pleased to know no mechanics have changed. Uh, I wrote two easy coins, uh, then lean, lean. ten coin or eight coins, just kind of like in a reverse chain. If I miss any, if, if you see me miss any, I'm just gonna jump off and start again. If you fall off at any point, by the way, you have to restart the whole level. Like, the coins don't restart, but... Yeah, that's a gutsy wampy. See, now, this is what I... There's someone on YouTube who has, like, a 100% kind of playthrough. But they've done, like, all this, like, editing, and it's very hard to, like, follow them as they go through this, like, area. Because this, this parts just go so fast. You can also slow down, but I think you naturally slow down over time as well. Oh, okay, uh, I think I got... Yeah, this part. Oh, that That's the most annoying yeah. part. And I've written it down my notes, so I didn't see it. You have to lean left before the reverse pad, because when you land on that green reverse pad, you're in the air and can't actually, like, yeah. lean over to get to the coins. You're just stuck. Yeah. You will miss those coins if you hit that green pad. That's a very beginner's trap kind of placement. I, I feel like if there's one place, you know, because you can barely see in front of you in this, like, level anyways. Like, things are not on screen for more than, like, two seconds when you're going fast. There's enough time to, like, maybe lean left and right, but... Yeah, if you're not in the right, you know, part for a coin, yeah. Which is not a problem in the PC version, by the way. It's much wider draw distance. You could say maybe the PS uh, the PS1 version is a bit more inferior, but I don't know. On the flip side, uh, it's the version I played, so and to be honest, I do like the PS1 aesthetic. All right, we go. Nope, not leaning left on this one. I got this one already. <laughs> they're, they're going. They're going. Okay, it's the next one. I think you probably uh, picked up as well. This level is mostly just like, snaking back and forth. Okay, here we go. So we gotta lean left immediately. I, I picked up one- I picked up one of the coins. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> Dang it. I feel like I didn't spend that much time on this in the, the 2010 Let's Play because, you know, oh, I'm not getting the coins, it doesn't matter. But it does matter now. So, uh, anything else to need for Speed Underground yet? It's got some full motion video uh, bits. They're all like pre rendered CG. It's not like um, later games again, which use real actors. But I don't know. I feel like Need for Speed Underground 2 is the, the better game. Or, you 
you know, to some degree, Metropolis Street Racer. Which also has the kudos system, by the way. It, it effectively has the same, like... I mean, it's not the same system, because in, in Need for Speed Underground, your progression is just tied to winning races. And it's more a secondary thing to, you know, do it stylishly and get points. But... I would then say, I think Metropolis Street Racer does a better job of it. So, definitely would recommend if anyone somehow can play Metropolis Street Racer, a long forgotten Dreamcast game, please give it a go. Uh, that game is incredible how, like, weirdly forward looking it is. And then uh, the devs went on to do uh, Project Gotham Racing. So, if you. Which. I'll do the two Batman. The two DC Comic Cities in there. I'm pretty sure it's it's all straight from here. Whee! Yeah, that was the that was the last one. That one coin took me a couple of goes, but I got there. I got there. Also, yes, the uh, the uh, the roller coaster was like five seconds of the film, but it had to make it three levels. This is the most deceptively short level in the whole game, by the way. Actually, no, it's not. It's the second most deceptively short level in the whole game. It's a hundred coins, too. So, on the surface, it seems like it will be a very long level. But trust me, this is a relatively short level. I mean, they're showing a bunch of rooms. There's a, there's a lot going on, but I've written down five notes for this. Like, in total, only five bits where I have to go, yeah. Wow, we really got those roller coasters beat. We? Ha! I'm the one who was steering. Well, uh, I think we should rest. Oh, here we go again. You stay here. <laughs> what's, what's with this dialogue cutting off at the worst points? Yeah, uh, just catching my breath. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. <laughs> okay. Uh, we still gotta shoot down another bat. Aww. Oh. Let's, let's get the grapes first. Aww. Uh, is he over the... He might be over the, the ledge. There we go. Uh, but yeah, there's, there's gonna be some weird coins out in space. This is a timed platform. I am gonna try and get all this stuff before I worry about this timed platform. But yeah, finally, another potion. It's been, what, Jungle Day? That was, you know, three worlds ago. This is the... <laughs> the seventh last level in the game. You know, we gotta, we gotta get around to using more, uh... More potions, more, more tr transforms. Incredibly as well, there's three different transform animals, and you'll get two goes of each throughout the game. And uh, we've only done two of them as well. Let's have a look see. Where's that bat? Okay, this is gonna be this is gonna be the Let's worst bat, I swear. Yeah, it's gonna be the worst bat. It's probably not that bad, but so. Also, look at that. It's a platform used purely for aesthetic purposes. Something you don't jump on. They put a checkpoint right at this coin because it's probably the most obnoxious coin to get to. I'm pretty sure you jump to it. If not, then whoops, but... Come on, come on. Let me get to it. Let me get to it. No. First try. And it's a secret, apparently. Okay. And there's a secret back here. This is... Oh boy, this is a very croc platform, isn't it? So when you stand on one of these, all the other ones go up a bit. But you kind of have to be, you know, leveling it out in order to jump to the next one. It's like, oh, okay, then, I guess. You gotta make sure you don't push it too far, or else... 
You just feel like you're not making progress because you're constantly writing like each of these platforms down. Trust me, you're getting there. Hey, Steve. Pretty sure, was there something like super high in this room? Or no. No, I don't think there is. Nah, nah, you just you just hit get those coins and you call it a day. So if you're at 49, you've done well. You've done well, you've gotten everything. Now we can we can do the, the potion and continue on the level as as it was intended. Um Yeah, what Love was it? What was it exactly that popped in my mind that was a topic? I don't think I particularly had one. Nah. <laughs> it's kind of a slow week. We got the 7900 RX 7900 GRE, but I don't know, it just kind of exists. You can see it on paper and you probably not be able to generally get it. Also, you're a bunny. Also, this kid again. Can you hover yet? I can hover. I lost my jump button. You eat a lot of sugar, don't you, kid? Did you know this place is supposed to be haunted? What? By useless peasants? No, by a ghost. Uh, yeah, right. You know, kid. Ah, oh, we missed the line. We missed the line. Can you. Oh. Okay, so uh, this is the the bunny. You get coins to increase your your bar as usual. Also, you're gonna really note the perspective warping because the camera's gonna look down like it's jumping flash here. Um, but trust me, it's like you know that's how it works. And then uh, you can hover like like a uh, Rayman. This is a very Rayman. You know, kind of room they saw and it's weird as well like in Rayman 2 they really, really do this right at the beginning of the game there's not really other rooms where you ascend like this uh, I wrote first bunny room remember the secret ledge and then I seem to write 62 coins which is not the number I have, so... Okay. Good luck me! I assumed- I think this is what I meant by secret ledge. It's not a crazy long level. I don't think there's anything else in this room, so sure. Uh, yeah, by the way, um... Yeah, no, the box is haunting me. It, it just forever teases you. It's just there. And they changed the music on you. Uh, this room, weirdly, like, as well, one-time mechanic. You gotta grab these carrots. These golden carrots. You just need them. What does this have to do with the film? Like, when did this happen in the film? He doesn't even turn into a rabbit in the film. He turns into a turtle for a hot moment. Uh, frog, not necessarily. Uh, so you need 14, what a lovely number. Yes. They expect you to turn, to like, move forward in the air while you're doing a jump. But like, <laughs> that's not where the trajectory goes, I don't know why they put uh, the carrots there. But sure, let's get away from this box. Oh my gosh, the skull of the box is right there. And he's used carrots for arms. Yo, Pacha, my man! Ah, demon Bunny! No, oh, not this again. Pacha, it's me, you big lummox! Wow, Cusco, you look... funny. <laughs> me? Funny? Funny how? What, like a clown? Like, like I'm here to amuse you? Is that it? Huh? No, 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 that. I just meant... Well, uh... Great, great reference, guys. Anyway? Yeah, judging by your size, you probably ate your way through a wall. Come on, let's find Yzma. Uh, also, there is a potion, uh, there, but we want to avoid the potion, because it's a little bit more to this room. 
Uh, there it is. <laughs> There's a little bit more to this room. Bunch of coins. Yeah, I just looked at it. I said, like, oh, I wrote down, like, this. Like, 12 coins in this room. I'm like, 12's a funky number. Why would it be 12? But you can, you can see that there's a secret over there. There we go, so... Jump back up. Oh. Not quite. Um... Yeah. Listen, I can't knock him for, like, variety in this game. I <laughs> definitely try to... Do all these different mechanics. And I especially do, like... Um, I mean, you know, if you've never played Jumping Flash, there's, there's game number two. Play Jumping Flash. That game is a, is a great, like, insight as to how 3D platformers attempted to wrestle with the space. This is what I love, by the way. This clearly, like, where did I come from? Where, where did the entrance of this room come from? This is just a floating platform with nothing behind it. Uh, by the way, terrifying platform jumps. And you'll forever be noting the perspective warp on the platforms I'm jumping on. As you jump on one platform, another one will uh, reveal. Jump on them in series to grab all the coins. And will be here. And one more for good measure. There we go. I mean, it's kind of neat. You know. That's a, that's a neat mechanic, but sure, okay. Grab that, so that you can now... Activate <laughs> the pot pad because, oh, what can llamas do that rabbits can't? That's right, pot. And that's the end of the level. That's what I mean by deceptively short. It's because, like, that first area was like, yeah, okay, there were a bunch of coins, and you had to do the time puzzle in the secret area. It's not too bad. But this is the last level of the catacombs chapter. We're already here. And it's another roller coaster bit, so. Cusco, line up with the corners, and I'll bet they'll automatically turn us around. So again, uh, three in the way, and then... Yeah. I wrote down two coins immediately, then right after the first jump, and I didn't get it. Um, seriously, that, that coin is not on screen when I do that jump. There we go. Uh, up some corners, you'll get it. Wow! I guess I hit that jump late, didn't I? Jeez. But yeah, no, if, if uh, anyone out there playing anything interesting, you know, shout some recommendations. I haven't particularly made a lot of crazy progress in Xenogears. Um, but definitely, I'm meeting a couple of new characters, and now we're getting into, like, some more story and locations, but... Whoa! There we go, some wider sections. Whoa! Throw me off. I don't think this level's gonna be as bad as the last one though, but you never know. Okay, well, we're doing okay. We're doing okay. Oh, I remember there's like some points. Yeah, those ones. These ones are on a fast track. Uh, oh, ah, my brain, yeah. I didn't turn the right way in then, yeah. I think all I wrote down is that there's going to be three coins without any work, but then after a jump, the Wampy is on the right of two lanes. And then everything else is no work needed, so. Nearly there. <laughs> There's none of these, uh, kinds of levels in the last world as well. But there will be five levels in the last world, so... If you think that this game is a bit too short, well... It's what it is. 
Oh. I'm just brain fighting at this point. <laughs> Blender, I can't play a kid's game. Wow. Got a bit of a jam of music here, though. Actually, hold on, real talk. Like, I know, does it count as a roller coaster if it's, like, because there's lots of roller coasters like this where it's like the car has wheels, but it's on like a, a smooth surface. And then, um, you know, like, how is that car driven? It could just be like entirely remote automated. It could have like guided cars. Um, it could be using like marker boards or like just you know, signals in the floor to indicate where it is. GPS sometimes. Like there's a lot of a lot of systems that uh, you can have one of these like kind of car on the ground kind of systems. And they're a fair bit easier to set up, but they're a bit expensive as well. I guess all roller coasters are expensive. All right, look at that! I didn't turn the wrong way. Okay, so three without any effort, and then Wompy on the right. There it is. And then I botched up the ending. <laughs> Dang it. Dang it. Yeah, no, it's... Ah, oh, it's been actually like a decade since I've been on a roller coaster, I tell ya. Um, the thrill's always good. Do any of you guys know, like, anyone personally who's, like... Like... Deeply terrified of roller coasters? Like, it's okay, I guess, if you don't want to go on one. But, like... To the point where it's, like... Like, I'm, uh, I don't know, did Final Destination ruin a generation of roller coaster enjoyers? I mean, yeah, they're, they're dangerous, but they don't break down, like, that often. It's terrifying, though, when there is a story, and you're like, oh no. I think I remember, like, Chuck O'Connor once saying a story of, like, he went on, like, some ride, and then, like, two hours later, like, the ride broke down, and, uh, like, someone, like, broke their arm on it. Not, 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 like, permanently disfigured, but definitely, like, oof, there's a, there's an injury, there's a, you know, something he dodged. And, uh, that's the whole Catacombs part. We are down to the final chapter of the game. The lab, which has the most deceptively short levels of the game. Um, it's got definitely two longer ones near the end. The two last levels will be a bit longer, but these first three, then, no, no, they're pretty short. We're gonna rehash all of the, um, uh, all of the, um, the transformation potions as well, but... I think this level is actually fairly straightforward. It is... I don't know, I don't think the lab particularly has its own identity. It doesn't really feel... Like it is different, but it does kind of feel like, yeah, you know, we've been there, done that. Also because, like, what were the catacombs if not for the lab? You know, like, in the film there's really no separation between the two. Right, let's split up and see if we can find the potion to turn me back into a human. Yeah, okay. But, but don't you find this place a little scary? You really are a big sissy, aren't you? Look, you take the door on the left, and I'll take the door on the right. Okay. Oh, and Tatcha, watch out for any big scary monsters. Just they like to everywhere. eat big, plump peasants. What did you say? Me? I didn't say a word. Okay. Uh, you can feel tempted to go the other way, but uh, actually go this route. Uh, I think this is technically a god. Technically. The gods are now not human. If you watch the film, you know why. Uh, I think your goal is to step on all four platforms within the time limit. I'll open this door. Alright, there's gonna be some obvious coins. I wrote down, ignore the obvious coins, go left in the next scene. And then you just stand on here for three seconds. No indicator, but it'll, it'll just go down. You know. More pendulums. Just 
pig guy. Oh. Again, it's just another guard, sure. Um, this is a room with... I wrote down... Yeah, yeah I guess they are lizards. Yeah. Technically haven't hit a secret yet, by the way. There's another another room where you got to stand on the, the platforms. I guess it's... What is this? A face and... Two feet? I guess it's two faces. Or well, three faces. Oh my gosh. I'm not really too sure what, what this platforming is. Oh yeah, I'm jump, jump, big jump, jump. Well, they put, uh, you know, 15 coins up here. And, uh, yeah, a bunch more coins at the end. Yeah, I feel like this last section of the game doesn't exactly have much of an identity. And maybe that's one reason why... I mean, ultimately, as a conclusion, I never, I didn't remember much of this game before I replayed it. Um, even after I let's played it, I, I honestly couldn't recall a lot of this level design. I could recall more of some of their other games' level designs, and I still think Croc 2 is a fairly good game. It's got, it's got quirks, but sure, it's got, it's got a lot of good stuff going for it. I've missed these cracks in the wall secrets. Um, here we go. Attack! Look at this guy just come out. <coughs> and make a terrifying noise when he dies. Jeez. Um, also, some of you might be yelling out, and yes, I know. There's a crack in the wall. Adam! The Spyro 2 level of secret. And yes, Gorilla. Except it still makes the pitchfork noises that the regular guards do. So many coins in this room. And this is what I mean about, like, deceptively short. Again, this level hasn't gone on for that long, but... You know, it's a hundred coin level. I'm at 67 already. So... Okay. We shall now Check enter... Point. This, uh, this room which Patcha walked into. This is a remember where the pits were room. Fun. You get a little bit of wiggle room if you step on the wrong bit, but <laughs> only a little bit. Also, this coin is on... no. One of these coins is actually on the dead zone. Oh, uh, maybe not. Ah. Yeah. And then you gotta watch it every time. Except the pits that you already activated stay activated, so it loses that. That's for a hot moment. Checkpoint. Oh, they brought back that from the jungle level, didn't they? Yeah, I don't know, maybe that's the, that, that's the thing, is that, like, you know, lack of, you know, landmarks, really, um, I think is probably the biggest, you know, hurt to the level design. And then, on top of that, yeah, it's like, well, the lab is a rehash of all the level mechanics that you've experienced in the other levels. And to some degree, the music as well. Wompy over here. You know. It's my wompy. And back here. There's a guard up there, but I'm pretty sure he doesn't drop any coins. No. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta be careful. Two two last coins no. before that red idol door. Now this may make you think that the level is about to end, but we got a little bit more. Just a little tiny bit more. Hey Kuzco! What are you doing down there? I've been wandering around for ages. I think I found something. Die, Kuzco! <laughs> amazing sequence. Not again. Not again. Curse! Wrong potion! This delivery is amazing. Um, so, uh, yeah, you know, some guards appear, and we're a bunny again, two levels later. This is probably why I don't remember the bunny sequence that much. Also, there are no coins in here. Your goal is that red idol. Attack! Very certain no secrets either. 
this uh, wall pattern makes me really want to play Hexen again. Uh, and of course, two idols, because why not? Oh my gosh. The... And by the way, yeah, if you hold your charge for too long, it just kind of expires, you know, as it does. What happens if you get to this point and you didn't pick up any coins? Would you be, like, crazy stuffed? Because, yeah, you can't charge as hard. That, that's it for the level there, by the way. It's not, it's not too much work. Here we go. There's more noises in the loading screens. What's going on there? You guys are hearing that, aren't you? Just dead silence. Absolute dead silence. Uh, you might be looking at this level design and going, oh, okay, okay, sure. We'll get there, we'll get, we'll get there. We gotta show the level fly, fly through, why not? Um, yeah, I feel like maybe it needs a little more variety near the end of the game. Ooh, you made it! How did you get here so fast? Well, at the bottom of the pit was an escalator. Figures. Here, try this new potion I found. Yeet. <laughs> Not again. You'll never make it to the door in time. I'll have to carry you. Out of my way. Turtle coming through. Checkpoint. Hi. Sorry, uh, turtles aren't allowed down here. <laughs> I, I love this just set up. So, uh, yep, we gotta go. Uh, Kronk is now chasing me with a net. And, uh, you gotta make sure you pick up the coins, and if you miss any, well, just, you know, just start it again. You know, how it, you know how it goes. There's another crack wall here. Uh, this is important because Wampy and two coins are oh, in that direction. Oh, and Kronk is certainly fast. He will take, take cracks if you're not going full throttle. It's not too bad, but uh, your goal that you're kind of aiming for is that there's going to be a bunch of gold coins right near the end of the level. You want to have 40 coins before that. All right, now stay. stay. No way. I like how he just lets the turtle go and then he's like, nope, see ya. Also still hasn't acknowledged that it's Kuzco. I don't think you gain anything for really crushing Pacha at the run. And for reference, going left doesn't really... No. Not missing on anything if you went left. I'm, well, actually, sorry, you are. You're missing on two coins in a lobby. Yes, of course, taking damage while in the total form is cool and normal. This one U-turn is probably the, the worst part, because it's like you want to go slow to get the coins, but getting harassed at the back. Or that tunnel, because the camera gets all funky. And this pit. Alright, I'll stay here. See ya, loser. <laughs> and away he goes. Also, I guess falling in a pit means you take a hit. It rhymes! That's how you know it's good, so... Yeah, and I don't particularly have a lot of topics this week. It's It's been pretty quiet. I don't know, end of July. The motorsport was good. The motorsport was, was pretty nice. Um... I like the, the support categories. I really like the uh, the, the Porsches. They're always good fun when they go around. Um, also, what they have, the Toyota 86s? They were pretty good. I don't know whose car started leaking at the end, but that was a very bizarre like kind of incident. We just got hit and then it's like, oh, boom, this car's leaking. No, I want to get that coin. Okay, we're good. Alright, that's 40 coins. Now you gotta get... Oh, I missed one. Catch me, Kronk. Catch me. Alright, now. And by the way, yes, this is the entire level. <laughs> Again, deceptively short. You think, oh no, one more world, five levels. But nope. Oh yeah. Like, I've only been in this world for 15 minutes, and I'm nearly about to 
you know, finish level two. I want you to put out a stopwatch and, you know, figure out how long it takes me to explain the third level, by the way. <laughs> the fourth and fifth level, sure, okay, but... Yeah, I do wonder how these levels look on the PC without the draw distance, you know. It's actually kind of interesting that they didn't do the, uh, the Harry Potter game on PC, given that they've done PC versions of all their other games. Oh my gosh, they got the storyboard still! They still got that going on, jeez. Okay, how long is the fly-through, first of all? And it's still dead silent, jeez. I'm pretty sure this is the same room. The camera's just showing the same- it's still showing the same room. We haven't changed rooms yet, this is... This is one room. This is- this is the same room, this is- this, this is all the same room. Now it's a different room. Complete silence. You get around pretty fast for a fat guy. Try this one. Don't say a word. Alright. For some reason, I had the urge to tell you that frogs go further if they keep jumping. Okay. Uh, the game automatically pushes you into the next room, but you want to not go into the next room. Because uh, that camera fly-through showed there were three coins back here, and they're kind of mean. Um, this level only had 35 coins, though, so we've, we've stopped the chain of 100 coin levels you know, after that first lab level. Um, but yeah, the way that this level works is, uh, well, there's a diving board right here. So you want to kind of line yourself up somewhere, maybe here. Just have a crack at it. You can't see it, but it's there. It's got a Wampy and 20 of the 35 coins in the level. Oh, look at there, look at there. There we go. You wanna drop down? There's another one of the coins. Listen, I wrote down four notes on this level. I didn't I didn't even like pay that much attention. I was just like, well, not, not that I didn't pay that much attention, is that there's nothing to pay. Whoops. So, your goal, after picking up the three coins in the previous room, and then, oh my gosh, I'm just constantly doing the big jump. Whoop, come on. There you go. Um, you just want to go up the ledge and then do the frog platforming. This is the send-off for the frog. It's like really lame kind of level. I don't know, I'm gonna rip on this level. It's it's just too short, too simple. Like, hold on, legit, you got this jump. Okay, then you wait for this platform to fall down. And then you do... There you go. I thought I wasn't gonna make that, but sure, okay. There's your key, okay? So you go, okay, that was a neat little sequence. Little sequence, most importantly. You got to use the frog a lot in that one jungle level. And then you're sort of expected to just, like, do this jump. Whoop. There you go. There's five coins here! <laughs> just, just noting, there's five coins. That's already all the coins in the level. And then... Oh, look at that! A potion. And, uh, they just expect you to... I'm testing those walls, because <laughs> those walls are legit secrets in the later levels. And that's that. Pod on the switch. Level's done. That level was legitimately, like, four minutes. And that was it. That That's the whole level. That's your send-off for the frog. One little bit of platform jumping and you call it a day. Here's a cutscene, by the way. This happened immediately after, like, three full motion videos ago, by the way.
also immediately after we already fought or saw Yzma twice. Mm. So uh, the two remaining lab levels end up not technically being in the lab. Like they still sort of are in the lab, but we start getting into just like, you know, it's on the outside of the palace. So the aesthetic is different all of a sudden. I don't know. So we, yeah, we start getting these more like kind of palacey kinds of vibes. Um, but yeah, this is probably like where, uh, not where I vividly remember, I vividly remember this being more annoying than it actually is, but definitely this is where probably the most complex parts of the level designs come in. Um, I think it's because there's puzzles that exist beyond the rooms, so suddenly you've just got to get a bigger idea of like where does this whole level even lean. Um, so uh, Pacha's just chilling. Cusco, I found some balloons to help us get to the top of the palace face before nasty old Yzma. Amazing. There's only one potion left. This is our only chance. So let me get this clear. If you float away without me, this bit's gonna be really hard. Uh, yes. If you just hold on to me, we can float straight to the end. Marvelous. See ya. If only there was some way to... <laughs> already gone um but yeah so this whole uh, ending part of the game uh, involves uh kind of the the edge side of the palace uh there's gonna be i guess yeah the, the 2d sections will i jump through the wall like i did on my let's play maybe uh i had eight coins and then you ride this lift and there's two way. more points whoa I'm pretty sure these platforms are only used here. And then we're out of scene. There we go. Uh, beetles on the edge of the, the level. I just want to remind you, no red beetles. Still, no touching. those red beetles that were in the second level of the game, and they made a big point about it in the tutorial. Check on point. the rest of the game. Maybe, maybe some level design. Listen, if the composer guy, if I ever get to see him, ask him, you know, hook me up with one of the level designers, I would love to wonder why were there were no red beetles in the rest of the game? He'll come back to me and be like, why do you care? Ow! Listen, this is about closure. Fifteen coins makes sense. Oh. Ow! That was a dreadful jump. I'm sorry, everyone. I wrote one coin there. And we're out. That's better. And I know, it just keeps going. You go through one door and suddenly there's another door. Life has many doors. I don't think there's really any legit way to even fight those people. <laughs> just take the hit, get a coin, or get some health later on. I, yeah, I think I actually wrote just rinse repeat. Like, this section just keeps going on for a bit. Oh my gosh. I don't mind the, you know, the change of scenery and definitely a difference in camera angle always works, but... Man, that is a very annoying pendulum placement. Where are these pendulums exactly? Like, in space? Why are there pendulums on the side of a, you know, the, the idol face, the palace? Alright, so 23, uh, go to the very first door. Because some of these doors are important and some of them are not, and I've forgotten which ones are not. Sinking platforms when you stand on them, very nice, very stylish. Uh, this is a, again, platform. Except some of these platforms go up when you stand on them. Do you even need to be on these platforms in the end? Probably not. Just need to be on this one. Get the coin. Okay. Onwards and upwards. Uh. Here we go. I got two pots. And a switch, of course. And what does the switch do? That's right. This whole level. You basically raise 
uh, a few platforms to actually exit the level. Checkpoint. <laughs> and it's weird, after like three of these outdoor rooms, suddenly it's like, this is the one that has like some continuity, I guess. So we then go into the next room and rinse and repeat. It's a lot of rooms as well. Maybe that's what makes us feel so much longer than it really is. It's just that you have to do so many of these rooms. This reminds me of, um, uh, there's a room in Half-Life 2 where you gotta build a seesaw. Um, I think the part that reminds me is the fact that, like, the exit's on the right side, and, uh, this is technically a platform, but, like, you see how, like, it goes down, and then it will eventually come back up. So you gotta start, like, balancing it out. It's not really that hard. Eventually they bottom out, and then you're like, cool. And you get to see a door open for once in this game. Um... Oh, this, this, yeah. This is a weird platform, it's like a little stack of squares, I guess? You gotta charge it on the opposite, oh, sorry, blind hit. You just gotta charge it on the opposite side, and then it'll, you know, fly, splay open? I think splay is the right word. Uh, be very noteworthy, there is a coin right on this arrow, which is your indicator that you jump straight through, and then there's magically a wampy. I know, right? It, you just had to know. There's actually, um, do you remember the old man, like, right in the first world? And he said once, he's like, arrows point to secrets if you pay attention. And it's like, that that's the one, the one occasion in the whole game where that actually comes into play. Can I rip on this game for, like, just... I mean, I know, I understand these different mechanics, and I understand, like, hey, you know, you gotta have, you know, secrets in your game are cool. Um, I just want to also note, uh, this platform turns the same direction you hit it for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, just want to note as well, I'm going up here, it looks like this just health, but it's marked as a secret, and, uh, you'll get very angry if I don't pick it up at the end of the level. You think I actually missed something. But no, th that secret is just health. There's nothing else up there. Um... Booyah! So yeah, we've gone into these two little side rooms of the crosswalks just for, or the crossroads, just to get a two idols. So you need it to continue. And the idols light up the door. Open sesame. Uh, this also will make you incredibly cautious about every single one of these walls, but trust me, I don't think it applies to... It only applies to one more wall. But it is a blind one as well. I don't think they, they've thought this one through. <laughs> uh. Anyway, I'm ripping this game a new one all of a sudden. Um, yeah, uh, I don't know. It's still overall, it's fine. It's a fair game. It's, it's a, you know, a decently short length. You could beat it in one or two afternoons, pretty much, and that's exactly what I'm doing here. Um, Collecting the coins is a little annoying, because, uh, yeah, you're probably gonna miss one, and then it's like, oh, darn, I missed the coin. Um, pretty straightforward room, by the way, so now we just continue on, and we're gonna get a red idol to end the level. Also... Ah, Cusco, I'm so delighted you were able to make it this far, because now I'm going to crush you! Bring it on, oh ancient one! I can run rings around you. Those are very foolish words coming from a llama. With this hammer, I'm going to get rid of you once and for all. Yeah, cut the spiel, lizard lips. And let me dance on your head. Also, she legit pulls out the hammer and away Checkpoint. she goes. Finally, Yzma actually <laughs> tries to fight you. Uh, that did hit her. I swear it did. Uh, she's going to spin around and then she'll be slow. She'll still... Maybe hit you with a hammer, but... Ow. Just let it... Eh. You've done it well. Ah. Ah. <laughs> you may have beaten me this time, Cusco, but you will never find me now! What makes her think I would want to find her anyway? I mean, with you? But if I don't, I am stuck as a llama! She just scuttles off. I like how amazingly as well, it's like, <laughs> she's already opened the door for you. Oh, 
Okay, so that's 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 it by the way. We just went in here just for an easement fight. Ah, you thought this door would have been the end of the level, but no! We are outside yet again. More of these charge jumps. Checkpoint. I mean they're a lot easier to telegraph when they're on the outside of a level. You know, in a 2D scenario, you don't have to really worry about judging the jump because it's just like just make the platform close enough. down two beetles. Uh... Oh look, two beetles. Wow. I think, yeah, the, uh, again, it's like, are we, are we, am I just doing the same, like, room again? So we got these, like, owl cabinets? Like, they're in the movie, sure. But, uh, they open up and suddenly they're secrets when you Boom, stand on baby. a platform that doesn't even, like, depress or make uh, any noise. That's better. Press that switch and three platforms? This is the kind of annoying thing is that like now, you know, these doors do connect. I technically could have kept going right, but uh, I mean, you'll figure it out. It's not like it's a kid's game. What am I talking about? It's like, oh, it's not really that tough in the end. But if you do fall down, it is kind of annoying. Like this. It's like, which way was I going? Right, I think. You know, you know, because you've been through the indoor section, suddenly you've forgotten, like, where it was on the outside. Just remember, these are, well, almost always S-shaped. So you start on the bottom left, snake around, go, you know, go to the right side, and go left, and then go back up right again. Yeah, am I really ripping on a kid's game for getting too complex on the level design? Like... Oh my gosh, this again. Also, yeah, that's what I meant. There's a one coin there directly above the pit. Checkpoint. There's health too. Yeah. They are not very kind, are they? They are not yeah. very kind, are they? Oh. <laughs> okay, sure. Oh, oh. Yum, yum. Thought you got me. Not today. Uh, so I wrote, yeah, 79. Just trial and error with the invisible pits. That's what I wrote down. Uh, one singular coin. So yeah, if you miss the owl platforms, well, this is the same room with the switch, so. Whee! Oh yeah, I'm jumping. There we go. Hey, Steve. But yeah, I guess uh, at the end of the day, I mean, you know, nearly at the end of the game. Yeah, it's been pretty right. Oh, this room as well, because if you botch up this jump, you know, <laughs> you get the idol and then you're like, ugh. Oh, I wrote down backtrack instead of hopping down as well. Whoops. I mean, it's about the same, because you're just trying to get back to this room just so you can go in the door. You know, I had a funny feeling you would turn up right at the end of this section. I resent that. Hey, I just... <laughs> YouTube sensor? I don't know. What do we do now? We go through this door to the final level where I will defeat Yzma and get turned back into the real me. Booyah! Uh, before you go, there is no arrow here. I, I thought I was like mad when I said there was no arrow. But no, it's it's a secret. They didn't put an arrow in. Hey, I just expect you to take a shot in the dark and be like, hmm, where are the coins? And that's where they were. You're welcome. You're welcome. And that's uh that that is the end of the level. There we go. So that's 29 levels down, one to go. Uh so if you've if you've enjoyed this adventure so far. Uh, just note we're in the middle of the cutscene where Cusco, uh, well. Y Yzma is a cat all of a sudden. Uh, in the game, she will become a cat. I don't know, we're all over the place. 
listen, I, can I rip on these games for having full motion videos that don't 100% line up? Sometimes they line up, sometimes they don't. This one's middle of the road, but there's been better ones. We'll still forever note Toy Story 2 as being a forever timeless game. Other than that, this level is mostly just a rehash of almost everything we saw in the last level. Like, it's gonna look nearly identical, but it does have some longer interior sections, I guess. I don't think it's as long a level, though. It's got fewer coins. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm, I'm probably gonna beat this game. And, yeah, what's our overall play length? Less than five hours? I think it's a good time, so... Yeah, I don't know, I generally recommend this game, it's not like, too bad. It's just kind of, it's an, it's an experience. And definitely a curious one, if you ever play through Argonauts, uh, just Check library points. games... Uh, oh, these waterfalls, by the way, that's what blocks you from continuing on as well. <laughs> They're gonna show you the mechanic in an instant. Step on the switch, and the waterfall goes down. Uh, but yeah, I think one thing I do wish games did more is that if they are on the shorter side like this game, I wish that they had a bit more exploration with the mechanics. Um, I think there's definitely places where you could use the bunny or the frog a bit more um, indulgently, we'll just say. Um, this is a room. Stand on the switch. That opens three... Hmm. Bits on the wall. You just gotta shoot the three bits on the wall. And, uh, you're good. You know, as you do. Thank you, Gorilla. And there's a cheeky coin right there, if you, if you missed that one. So you should be on 12 now. And that drops off another waterfall. I'm pretty sure this door... That just leads me back outside, but then I'm in a different room when I go back in. Ooh. <laughs> uh, okay. Another room. Uh, what have I written down? There's a... I think you just do the jump and... Just another waterfall, you know? Nothing too weird, but uh, I think there's another gorilla down there. They had different enemies before. They had the cow... Where does this pit go, by the way? Where Where are we? I'm just gonna forever know this level design. I don't know. This game's an enigma. Um, it, it keeps getting bizarre. It, it keeps becoming, like... How do I describe this? What is going on here? Uh, did I rent, uh, a write... I wrote, uh... After this one, though. Here we go, yeah. After this one, though, outside, drop down to the lowest door. Yeah. That was a very fun jump. I'm glad I did that one. <laughs> Okay, jump a bit more to the right. Yeah. But yeah, there's another like door down here that's like under... <sighs> yeah. I'll get the jump. There's another door that's like, you would have not seen it at all. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Yeah. But it was blocked by the waterfalls. And uh, weirdly, it's way. like, hey, that treadmill from the last level is here, except it doesn't lock you in. So you just have to Lava like... This is gonna look very awkward. You're just gonna like charge in a circle as the camera keeps kind of charging away from you. But yeah, if you if you run on that enough, this door opens up. And with the door open, uh there's another button. And then uh this is probably the most like hidden seeker in the whole game. Look, sir, coins! These aren't the coins we're looking for. A, a Star Wars reference. Oh, he's my one. Were you expecting a Star Wars reference in the very final secret and wampy room of the game? No. <laughs> it just happens. It, it just happens, you know. So now I can jump back and, you know, properly go to the end of this level. Out of my um, way. But yeah, that, like, that is... A very bizarre secret. And it's one where, like, I don't know, I guess they expect people to get them. They've got coins. It's got a Wampy. They track that in the game. But, uh, as you'll be sad to know, also, that was the last Wampy of the game. Um, as you'll be sad to know, 
there's no reward for really. Hey, Cusco, want to race for Why is his foot in? hanging out into the subtitle bar? You got an idol for me? Check and there he goes. So one last, one last go with this kid. He's definitely speedy. He is definitely going fast, and he's definitely got two coins chilling right here, which I'll, I'll have another crack because we're just going around in circles. He's got a speedy bike this time. I'm glad that this kid manages to be like the one mechanic. I'm like, yeah, no, they use it just the right amount of times. I lost again. You know, Cusco, I've learned a valuable lesson today. That's inevitable when you bathe in the magic that is the Emperor. No, I'm just gonna quit buying these llama bikes. They're useless. Hey, hey, lava bikes rule, but you can't get better than the real thing. Me. There's your lesson, so long. I'll miss you, Cusco. Later. Yeah, yeah, I'm welling up here, kid. It's been emotional. Bye-bye. And there he is, the kid. Gone forever. Oh, yeah. Will he be gone forever? Um... I thought it was kind of weird that Cusco says, You can't beat the real thing, he says as a llama human turn into a llama. Oh, I thought that's pretty interesting. Hey, you got another red idol door. I wonder where these coins go. Checkpoint. Uh, so now we got this whole Checkpoint. indoor sequence basically just to get one more Ow. red idol. Oh, down I go. Yeah. One more red idol. Also, yes, that was a checkpoint in one room, just for there to be a checkpoint in the room directly after it. Uh, so what have I written down? I wrote, uh, pass the pendulums and go, uh, let- ah, oh, yeah. So I wrote here, left is a dead end room where literally there's just a cow that respawns. He doesn't drop a coin, there's nothing else in the room, there's health, I guess. Might as well grab the health. But it's like, it's just the cow room. There's just a room with a cow. Uh, I then wrote, just go forward. There is one singular pot on the way. Right here. Oh, right here. But there's going to be a couple of rooms where you're just going to have to, you know, step on a pad and then zoom past a guard and go straight into a door. Oh, or you can get timed out too quickly. These are kind of meanly timed uh, rooms, aren't they, as well? Attack. Attack. And yeah, very, very weirdly, because all these enemies respawn, the one time in the game they really respawn, or mm. I guess that one, uh, alligator in the previous level. But, uh, I don't know, they keep respawning, so therefore no coins for you. Down I go. Listen, it's, it's quicker. It's quicker. It's quicker to just go back by the checkpoint. Um, there's two idols, I believe. So, uh, are there two idols? Maybe. Maybe not. No touchy. Yeah, I, I was like, I was like, am I not running this one? Attack! Here we go. Whoop. Oh, oh, there we go. Attack. Okay, one mm. coin here. Moo. Attack. Something very bizarre about him, like mooing. <laughs> oh my gosh, really? <laughs> Boom, baby. Hopefully, it doesn't respawn by the time I try and run back. Oh, wow. We're going very aggressive on the on the timers for these, aren't we? Jeez. Seriously, they don't give you much time. Uh, oh, did you like the, the splayed platform? We're doing that again. Like, just again, again. It at least works this time. It doesn't go the wrong way. Whee! Oh yeah, I'm jump, jumpy, jumpy, jump. It's not particularly more Whee! involved than the last time. It's just, oh, yeah. yeah. I noticed jump, as well jump, the camera is looking jump, down jump. more in this room than Check any point. other room. If you didn't notice the perspective Whee! warping, before, oh, you're gonna yeah. notice it I'm now. Jump, jumpy, jumpy, jump. And then they timed the last door. How could they? Whee! Oh, yeah. I'm 
jump, jump, big jump, jump. There you go. So check it out. Oh yeah. The very last red idol. The very last coin in the game. I hope you appreciate uh, a live playthrough actually getting every single coin in like a proper run. So I don't know. I uh, I, I thought hey. To do my original run from 2010 better, and I guess that's a big thing as a Adam, as a away. mild retrospective. But you know, my original run, my voice was still squeaky. The mm. video was crazy blurry. Mm. Did it <laughs> legit go back to that Attack. one? It's like ugh. It was legit like 240p and probably recorded at an even lower resolution. Checkpoint. Um, but getting all the coins feels sort of cathartic because now it's like you know. There's nothing else Checkpoint. I can say about this game. I missed the Star Wars reference on my first run, and on my Let's Play. But now you know it's there. I don't think there's anything in this game, other than like, you know, cutting room floor content, that you've particularly missed out on. So with that, one last challenge. I will transform myself into a hideous monster and end monster. you forever! <laughs> oh gosh, I love the delivery. Are you sure you didn't drink it already, you old bag of bones? Just watch and behold the power! Yeah, yeah, enough of the dramatics. Drink it and let's fight! Prepare to die, Cusco. Will you please just drink the thing? Okay, but I'm warning you. Drink! Great dialogue. Uh oh. <laughs> oh no! A scary little cat! Help! Help! Curses! I have to get the potion. I appreciate villains saying it. curses, and the dialogue didn't work, but okay. Why? Because if you chase me up this perilous platform section, you may stand the chance of getting the last potion. Ah, I see. And what if you make it first? Not that you will, as I have perfected my llama skills. You would be stuck as a llama for the rest of your grass-eating life. <laughs> so it's a final race to the top. I think that's pretty clear. Bring it on! I'll beat you to the top and be my beautiful son once again. It ain't ever gonna happen. That last potion's mine. I will be human again in no time, baby. There we go. So the moment you go out this door, you got one last mad dash to the end. And you also get to hear this dialogue again. I did, did, they, did they play test us? It's the same dialogue. So here we go. It's just charge jumps and going right. You got all the coins. Don't think that the pot has anything. Through the door and continue. It's kind of cool that you get to see, like, you know, hey, where's Yzma? But, uh... It's not exactly that <laughs> the jumps, like, differ or do anything too differently. Also, you get the door before she does. Touch the potion, and the game is over. We get to finally see the last bit of full motion video. Or do we? And then you get a bit of a seizure. Why not? And, uh... Yeah, no, that's it. That's every coin, every secret, and every Wompy. That's basically everything I, I think this game has to offer. Um, and uh, you get to be treated to whatever the heck they decide to animate as the ending to this game. That's right. Did you want to see what Boom, human baby. Cusco looks like in this engine? Because I don't want to anymore. Get a little, uh, curtain call. Is that, is that what you, you, you say? The, the bit where everyone walks on stage at the end? It's like, oh, look at every character. Oh. Except that ostrich never got used in the whole game. Look at me, I can fly! Yeah, that's a bit where you got a guy who thinks he can fly and a guy who actually can fly. Also, they're vibing, they're grooving. <laughs> Dude, those kids are like two thirds of high departure. They're probably as tall as Cusco. Oh, 
cool. <laughs> and, uh, that's it. Um, is this music gonna get copyright claimed? You'll be the judge if it's backwards on YouTube. But yeah, no, that's the game. Um, yeah, I guess, so TLDR, I've said it a few times. This game keeps getting bizarre. I hope you appreciate all the bizarre things that have happened in this one. It's, it's definitely, like, worth the play. It's not amazing. Justin Shavona, thank you, my man. You're jamming, you're vibing, you do a good job with all this music. Good job, bro. Um... But yeah, I don't think any of these other people worked on Croc. I think maybe, maybe there's a level designer in there? Maybe? There's bound to be, like, engine work. Right? They'd have to have programmed engine work, right? But, like, most of the credits, you know... We're now at the Disney Interactive, we're now at the voices of all these people. A lot of voice talents on this one, though. Yeah, they, I, I will say that, like, you know, the voice work is great. Patra's voice, yeah, sure, okay, but, you know, it's fine. They put in a bit of love and kind of recreating or, or still kind of having the, the element of dialogue um, that the, the film has. And I, I think the art style captures the film quite nicely. Like, yeah, it's a little bit of PS1 jank, but, like, it's got the, the colors. And it's got, like, the, the, the shapes of geometry going on. And I think that's kind of all you can really ask for out of a PS1 game. Um, best you can say is, oh, I wish this game was on more platforms. It's only released on the PS1 and the, um, and the PC. I don't know if there was a Dreamcast version. If there was, oh, whoops, there was a Dreamcast version. But I know, yeah, Argonaut kind of famously never really released Nintendo 64 versions of their games. Um, and eh, that's, that's a fair call, because, you know... The, the PlayStation was the system to be for sales. Um, but yeah, I think with these like film tie-in games, I don't know what exactly they're expecting. And I don't know what, whether exactly the developers and the designers put in their hearts and souls into a game like this, or whether it's like, yeah, you know, we're just kind of making it for the money. They might say that about this game. I don't think they'd say that about Catwoman. Um, but yeah, it's definitely at this point, it's like, yeah, you can kind of see that the studio is starting to get into its downward turn. It's not necessarily that this is a bad game, but that it's starting to, you know, we're bound to pushing out shorter, condensed license titles more often. And, uh, inevitably that was the downfall of Argonaut, Argonaut Studios. Um... I think there'd be more interesting visuals going on in these credits, it's just a bunch of text. Um, but yeah, my experience with the game, you know, I played as a kid, I didn't love it. This was probably one of the earliest games I had where I was like, I didn't, I didn't get it. Um, and then we get this mid credit scene. Where you, <laughs> you missed the gag where the squirrel apparently became friends with Kronk. And they properly end the film. Wow, we saw the last shot of the film. Before the Sting song came in, we didn't license the Sting song. And there we go, that's it. We're back at the, the map select, where you will get told if you replay this level, you will lose all your continues. I'll have you know, I didn't burn any continues this, uh, this stream. So just before we go, let's step through, very slowly, all the concept art, in order. As you click on it, you wait on the black screen for like five seconds, then you see the concept art, you go, ooh, ah. Then it fades away six seconds later, and then you gotta wait until the map loads again. So we'll be here a couple of minutes, but some of this concept art is definitely like, okay, these are like, you know, early drawing stills, or, you know, this is like a character sheet. You know, you've got the proportions and the kind of shape and curve of the character kind of defined in the character sheets. Although that first one was more like a, like a scenery kind of palette. More like concept art. Here's Kronk wearing stuff that I don't think he necessarily had those colors in the end film. I don't remember him wearing red. Um, and yeah, yeah, each one of these, if you get all the coins and the Wampy in the level, you can see this art. There's some nice art, although I don't know what's going on with the purple there, but sure. You know, sure. Um, yeah, you get one of these per level. It's not particularly anything for 
doing it in every level. But you get to see it. You know, it's cool. And this is, I mean, this is interesting stuff. It's just, uh, I wish the presentation was a bit nicer on it. <laughs> you know, it's like, man, you know, it takes a bit of time just to look at one picture. I think it's because this, the um, the game is probably switching from a, a low resolution mode to a high resolution mode. And maybe there's stuff in the engine that's kind of flipping up. Because like right now, I think we're on the low resolution mode for most of the game. And then, oh, we got to switch to the high resolution mode for these pictures. And also the initial game title screen. Where it's just got a still that says the Emperor's New Groove. You can, you can see it's doing this weird, like, kind of glitchy effect every time it stops. I always find it's interesting how, like, you know, only recently we've, like, started leaning into resolution switching again. People have been very, like, stalwart on, um, uh, you know, games running at 720p, games running at 1080p. And suddenly some games started to do some dynamic resolution switching and people were like, Oh, what is it doing? It's not running at full 1080p. And, and it's like, oh, okay. So, I don't know why... That's some very old Pacha going on there. I don't know why some game designers, like, don't do dynamic resolution switching. I think it's a much better thing than frame rate switching. Um, if you can, control the visuals of your game a bit more dynamically without hindering on the overall appearance too much. Oh man, this octopus didn't appear in the game in any way, did he? What's he doing in the river section, by the way? For art. Who knows? Uh, <laughs> just dead silence, me talking. Ooh, he's my concept art. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like, uh, on the PS1, it happened a bit. It didn't happen, like, a ton, because I think you only had a handful of resolution modes you could pick, and doing it dynamically is a lot, you know, it's a lot easier now than it used to be. Um, especially on PC, it's, it's always been a bit, like, kind of iffy, because a lot of games have just tied its rendering context directly to the window, and then it's like, oh no, the window changed size. Quick, panic. But, uh, I, I think we're getting better now. Um, hopefully more games utilize it to achieve the best kind of visual quality while not tanking frame rate. I think resolution is probably one of the easiest things to kind of kind of hit on. Don't go too deep on it. If your game is changing resolution all the time, you should probably note that. But um, yeah, you know, if you got to do it, do the resolution mode. Uh, also, a reminder of the um, the H is it the HD mode? I forgot what they called it. It's not HD. The high quality mode uh, in Gran Turismo one if you do all the arcade events you get this like mode where you can drive through the um three night levels except they have reduced elements on screen but they run in the high resolution at 60 frames a second i think it might be interlaced but it's still like much better than what the game usually runs at and i'm like wow you know this is rather incredible how smoothly this all looks i like this art by the way i love my mountains mountains are always cool I say in the mountain world, so... There's some shots at the beginning of the... The, the film of a... I, I think, yeah, Pacho went to the... Was he selling stuff in the city? At the beginning of the film? I forgot. Or is he just kind of like he went up to the palace and now he's walking back and he walks through bunches of things. This sort of reminds me of a scene near the end of the film as well. But yeah, some of this concept art is like... You know, this is like Kingdom of the Sun level of, uh, this was not for, for what then became the Emperor's New Groove, and with no context, by the way, with no context, some of this concept art looks like, oh, okay, like, they had that as a design for Yzma. But, like, yeah, there, there was probably gonna be a point where it's like, Pacha was not, you know, the same character in design and shape. Definitely once you start getting, like, llamas and other kinds of animals, you probably do have Emperor's New Groove vibes going on but yeah i as a last thing i would definitely say hey you know give this film a watch and give uh was it the sweat box the documentary if you go on wikipedia you'll you'll definitely get the name um give that a watch because it's a fascinating look into the production of this film it's not very negative on disney it will kind of rip into them a bit but at the end of the day like they made a product that kids did enjoy and still to this day we quote and i think that given the the changing demand of you know the the the, the change requirements midway 
and them having a kind of 180 on what they're doing that is a very late parcha in development and it's very gray i hope you appreciate how gray that was um but yeah it's it's very interesting to see how the sausage is made when it comes to a production um and seeing it like super early because like you know how do you you know documentary the production of a film when the animation all went smoothly and the answer is the writing didn't go smoothly and the test screenings didn't quite go the best um so yeah hey i i kicked one of these guys butts at the beginning of the the lab level so there's that isn't it weird how short the the five lab levels were though the city the three city levels was longer than the five lab levels oh patcha so patcha Kronk's so ripped oh <laughs> what do you mean we just drew w's I like how the map is just like potions. That's the different levels. Pig guy. Does the pig guy appear in the film? I think he does. They all appear just for that one like scene and then very briefly and then they all get flushed out of the the palace. Out of the nose. Which does not happen in this game. I thought you'd be sad that that doesn't happen. The waterfalls are just existing. Um, and yeah. The very, very last... Gallery. Uh, yes, it is kind of pixely. I don't know. <laughs> uh, and that's that. That's pretty much all you get with this game. Noth nothing really. No reward for getting every coin or wampy, but other than the galleries. But you know what? Like, hey, you get to see the levels in their full glory. Um, and I hope you enjoyed that kind of adventure, that whole journey. So. With that, I would like to thank you so very, very, very much for watching. If you did enjoy this, uh, you can uh, follow on Twitch or subscribe on YouTube. Uh, and if you miss bits of it, uh, the VOD will be on YouTube. Or if you're on YouTube, then the VOD is on YouTube. But unfortunately, thanks content claim, you know, Disney is going to block the video in all countries if it's got the full motion video sitting there. So use your imagination or just watch the film and watch the sweat box. Um, as something out of it and then yeah see if you can play this game in some way it's fine it's not amazing but it's fine sort of means something to me is like yeah just trying to like a game that i didn't really remember and i still sort of don't remember it kind of just happens um but it is bizarre and i appreciate what the designers did put into this um so yeah stay safe eat your greens don't stay up too late i'll be back next week with another game I think. No, I will. <laughs> There's no I think. Um, also, it's the end of July. Pinch and a punch, first day of the month, if you're watching the VOD on YouTube. And if not, then I just pinched and punched you. Thanks, domestic violence. Appreciate it. See you, fellas.